I'm sorry to break it to you, but you've never just fallen in love. You created that thing that you call falling in love. You know when you were falling in love? You had texted 500 times. You had gone on a bunch of dates. You might have even put your body parts smushed together in various ways. But you never just fell in love. I'm saying this. I was just on a conversation with a client and we were talking about how much language matters. And we were talking about it in the context of love and relationships. And we're like, well, what if I fall in love? And it's like, you don't just fall in love. That doesn't happen. You don't walk outside, bump into someone and go, oh man, I'm in love. You create it. You were creating it blindly, unintentionally, not paying attention the whole time with your actions, with your words, with the way you were thinking, obsessing, behaving, the dates, all the things. And this is everything in your life. And this is why words matter. Because we say things like falling in love and then we become a victim to falling in love. Like it happened to us. We didn't go bankrupt didn't just like happen. We took actions. We did things. We didn't save. We made bad investments. We didn't prepare. We didn't plan. We didn't take enough actions. The things that in life that we use this kind of language around, we create a victim relationship to it. And then we don't have the power to change it. I loved this conversation with a client because all we said is, hey, if you, if you watch your language, you get your power back. Stop relating to love like something you fall into. Stop relating to wealth like something magical that shows up. Stop relating to bad things that happen as like they just happen to me. And start looking at how your thoughts, your words, and your actions are actually creating the situations and the circumstances that you're living inside of that may or may not be working for you.